Yep, that's all. Oh, that's a... Keep him coming, keep him coming. He nearly made it to the trees. Nice. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, it's a horse. That is a tank. Oh, me too. Double hook up. Oh. <laughs> oh yay. He's in a pod. Wait a minute. That's a proper one. Oh, it is. Yeah. Dead set. Look at the colour. Oh. <laughs> G'day, Starlo here. My son Tom has always loved his fishing. As a youngster growing up, he often joined me on fishing trips, both here in Australia and further afield. I was never one to force my passion for fishing on my kids, but when they wanted to have a crack, I always did my best to help and Tom showed a natural aptitude, as well as that real joy that comes with cracking a new species or mastering a new technique. Lure casting's always been Tom's favourite pursuit, and he caught some ripper fish across the decades. He was clearly never going to be as addicted and single-minded about the sport as me, but when he got the opportunity to wet a line, he often upstaged the rest of us, <laughs> and let us know. Salt and fresh, big fish and small, he enjoyed it all. And from an early age, he was a committed tackle tinkerer, always looking for a new tweak or a fresh angle. That's something that's carried through into his adult life and his career as an engineer. In more recent times, this has manifested itself in the custom manufacture of 3D printed resin jig heads and other items of tackle paraphernalia. Tom designs all of this stuff from scratch and then programs his 3D printer to produce the component parts. <laughs> but as you can see, there's lots of hands-on assembly and finishing required to bring the ultimate product to fruition. Plenty of hours go into all of this, but Tom loves the challenge and the incredibly positive feedback that he gets from his growing band of loyal Starlo Tackle mail order customers. <laughs> The sheer volume of repeat business he gets tells its own story, and Tom finds himself spending more and more time filling orders these days. With our busy lives and living half a country apart as we do, Tom and I don't get to fish together and test his latest creations as often as we'd like to these days. But when the chance arises, <laughs> we grab it, and one recently did. I was really hoping some cloud would have rolled in, but anyway, can't complain. You especially can't complain when the local brim cooperate almost from the word go. I think this was about my third cast. Oh. <laughs> Not real big. No, nah, I'll be right, I think. Pretty fish. It was just as it came over that log. Yeah. Tom and I are particularly keen to put his new bug eye resin head jigs in their various spawning shrimp finishes through their paces. Built on strong, super sharp Gamakatsu hooks, these slow drop one gram heads match nicely with a range of tails. Few better than the time-proven 100mm squidgy wriggler. Yeah. Although I do like to modify them a little bit. So I often, so I trim the front of the nose and I take the back fin off. Oh yeah. Right, just right, reduces right, yeah. the profile, also gives you a bit more hook exposure. Yeah. We're working the shallow snagged line edges and this combo of a resin head and a cut down wriggler is just about the perfect tool for the job. Try and get one into that dark pocket in there. Not that Tom needs my advice. <laughs> He's already on. <laughs> it's a good one, I think. Oh yeah, not bad. He's safe now, you can just take your time on him. Oh, he's a good fish. 
Take your time. Beautiful! <laughs> oh, he's got a funny fin. Oh, See yeah. the deformity? Yeah, right. mm. yeah, nice fish. We'll put him in the well. Well done. You definitely sort of get the fish as soon as you arrive at a new spot. <laughs> yeah. Like they're there. Okay, you're back into it. And from that point, we were into it. Strikes and hookups were coming pretty regularly with a mix of sizes, but they all go hard. Thanks, mate. Ta. Oops. They're such great fish, I never get tired of catching them. We continue working the shallow edges, probing every likely nook and concentrating especially hard on those shadow lines. Perfect. A pretty shallow there, so you won't have to leave it for long. And the fish come pretty regularly. Yep, that's, oh, that's a... <laughs> keep him coming, keep him coming. <laughs> I'm using the electric motor to help pull this bruiser away from trouble. Tom's got his hands full. Keep him coming. <laughs> Good fish. Oh, oh, that's a nice one. He nearly made it to the trees. <laughs> they go hard near the snags. Nice. Well, you can override it a little bit. Yeah. Just put your finger on the side of the spool. Um, lightly, it's a sort of bit touch and go. They're liking that um, combination. They were definitely liking that resin head jig and wriggler combo. <laughs> and it was my turn next. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, big one. This is a proper one. Oh, it's a horse. He actually didn't go no. as hard as you would think for a fish that size. That is a really big brim. Ooh. That is a tank. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> Woo well into the mid 40 centimetre range. But he's got a big head. It's an old fish. I'll pop this one in the live well. We're hanging on to our better fish to see what sort of a bag we can amass before releasing them. <laughs> They're way too good to kill at these sizes and ages. Despite the sunny conditions, the brim are actually hitting pretty well. I reckon that discoloured water is helping. Oh yeah. Oh, me too, double hook up. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh, just go easy on him. We'll we'll try and go in and get him off. Tom's fish has <laughs> found the timber. Yeah. He's off. Now he probably got damaged leader, so just take it easy. Come bring him down that side of the boat. Yeah. Double. Just leave yours in the net and you can net mine as well. Our first double. Yeah? This one's a tough one. Not particularly big, but thank you. Good stuff. Well, that was a bit hectic. <laughs> Peas in a pod. Look at that. you got to take a snap of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will. With the two bug eyes. Another pair for the well. That's quite a bag. But I reckon there's more to come. And Tom is definitely in the zone. Oh, it's a big one. That's a big fish. It's nice and clear out here, so you can just take your time. 
and yeah. He would come off by now, probably, if he wasn't well hooked. Wow. They're a different feel, the really big ones. It's just a bit like the yellow belly at Windermere. Yeah. You know how the really big ones are sort of a bit sluggish? Now, he may go under the boat. Yeah, that's a cracker. Look at the nose on it. Steer him out. Just watch the electric. It's not running, but if he wraps you around the leg, it's not good. Look at Ben in that road. <laughs> He's only just hooked. Oh, yay! Oh, hoo -hoo! Well, that's, <laughs> that's a proper be, one. That have to be my best friend. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah Dead set. Look at the colour. Oh! Feel the weight of that. Hold him and I'll get, grab the phone and get a photo. At a genuine 45 centimetres for the tail tips, this one's worth a couple of happy snaps for posterity. It had been an awesome session. Our best five weighed a combined 6.63 kilos and we couldn't help admiring them all over again as Tom did the honours and returned them to the lake to do some more growing and breeding. <laughs> They're such cool critters at this size. What a memorable father and son fishing session. And what a solid thumbs up for Tom's beautifully crafted resin jig heads. If you enjoyed watching it, give us a thumbs up too. And if you're interested in finding out more about Tom's range of products, jump onto his Starlow Tackle pages on Facebook and Instagram, or go to his online shop at starlowtackle.com. And make sure you check out these earlier couple of videos of mine as well. Until next time, tight lines from both of us. We'll catch you soon.